everyone, and welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ tutorials. Today we are going to go over the database, what it is, and where things go. You will be spending a lot of time in the database when making the game. There are many tabs to remember, and they're all organized, and each tab will be its own individual episode. You will be spending a lot of time there because it contains a lot of important things to know about your game. Let's open it. To open your database, let's click on this gear icon next to the plugin button. As you can see, we have a bunch of tabs over here. Let's start back from top to bottom. These are your actors. These are player controlled characters that you can change their face image, their character sprites, and if you're using side view, their battler sprites. You can change their name, class, level, and profile, and their starting equipment. The classes are the different jobs your characters and actors can play. You, these are all the basic ones, but you can make your own custom ones. Skills are the skills your characters can learn as well as enemies can use. There are so many you can do, and you can hold a lot of them. Next is the Items tab. These are full of items that you can use by the player, and you could use on your characters, you can use on enemies, you can do whatever you want with these. Weapons and armor are both equipable by players. Armors go in their respective armor slots, and weapons go in their weapon slots. Next are enemies and troops. Enemies hold the enemy values and data for each enemy, like their health, their stats, their names, and their drop items and gold and experience. Troops hold the enemies together and what can be done for combat. There's also a battle test button, but we'll get to that in a bit. States are statuses that the player or enemies can receive, like poison, rage, stun, regen, you name it. Animations are particle effects that, that affect enemies and players. Let's play this one and see what it looks like. We'll get into how to make your own custom one in a later episode. Tile sets are the tiles used to make maps. Here we can use the overworld tile like we see here, like we used earlier. Here are some various sprites and tiles. Common events are events that can be triggered on a dime. And you can trigger them practically anywhere, and it saves a ton of code in the long run if you're doing a bunch of events together. System 1 and System 2 both hold crucial data aspects for each game, like various music, various sound effects, and a lot of booleans that turn on and off certain things. And finally we have the types, which is our, which is our elements, skill types, weapon types, armor types, and equipment types. You can always assign them to different things later. And terminology, this is where all the part this is where all the common text and stuff are stored. You can change these to whatever you want, but I'll go over each one of these in a later episode. Basic statuses, parameters, and commands are all edited to your will. You can always change them later. Let's close this by clicking OK. And that's everything you need to know about the database and its basics. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.